Do come in. Oh. oh, God, it's a lovely day today. I'm getting a bit peckish. What about you? Okay, um, I'll go and put the oven on. Rock buns. That's what we'll make. I've got some rock buns, some stuff in for rock buns. That'll do. Okay, give me a minute. <sighs> well, as you're here, I thought I'd do it in here if that's all right with you. So um, I've put my oven on, Gas Mark 6, which is um, 200 degrees Celsius and 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just waiting for it to warm up. So while I'm waiting for it to warm up, I thought I'd come in here and um, show you how we're doing. To my bowl, I'm going to sieve eight ounces or 225 grams of self-raising flour just into the bowl a pinch of salt so just a pinch four ounces or 100 grams of sugar four ounces or 100 grams of uh, butter so there you go rub that in with my fingers amazingly so make sure your fingers are clean for this one and just pop it over and rub it between the two rub it between your fingers just break it up as you go and just rub it in there we go and once you have a mixture that looks like breadcrumbs Okay, 75 grams, which is three ounces of dried fruit and an egg. Mix in your uh, dried fruit. Now you can use any dried fruit, don't worry. It does say currants in the original recipe, but I've got sultanas here. So don't worry too much. So do that, make a well in the middle. And then crack, whoops, a daisy, an egg, <laughs> oopsie. <laughs> there we go, into there. And then mix it in. Just keep going gently. Add some milk just to make it a little bit more manageable. So if I put two tablespoons of milk in, might need more, it depends on your flour. There we go. Give it a good mix to a stiff dough. Once you have your dough, what you need to do is take a greased and lined baking sheet, something like this one, and take little chunks off. There we go, just round it into a little ball and pop it on your baking sheet. It's not a precise art, so just whatever is good. It doesn't have to be particularly round. Then you're going to place them in the oven for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. While you're here, I'll make some raspberry buns as well for Gerald because my father-in-law really likes them. So if you don't mind, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put the sieve over my bowl and I'm going to sieve into that eight ounces or 225 grams of self-raising flour. Give it a bit sieve. There we go. Nice and light cakes from sieved flour. To that, I'm going to add three ounces or 75 grams of margarine or butter, whichever you've got in the house is always fine. And what we do next is we Get our hands in there, so mix it all in. And what you're looking for is fine breadcrumbs. Right, once we have a nice fine breadcrumb mixture, what we need to do is add our three ounces of sugar. That's 75 grams of caster sugar that we're adding. There we go. And a little pinch of salt, so we're going to put a pinch of salt in there. And give it a mix through with a fork. 
Then what we're going to do is take two eggs, just pop that to the side for a moment. So that's one. Two. 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 Luckily no shell in sight. And then whisk that until the nicely whisked. These are lovely eggs from my uncle's farm. And then pop them into your flour mixture, flour and margarine mixture. Okay, pop that to one side. And then using a fork, stir in the ingredients. And just keep going until it all combines. Into a soft dough. What you need to do is take a greased and lined baking sheet and take a dessert spoonful of the mixture and place it on the baking sheet. Now this mixture does spread slightly, so you will need to um, spread them out a little bit. Okay. Okay. Once you have all your mixture uh, on your baking sheet, what you need to do is put some jam on them. Now, we're going to use raspberry jam today, but you can use whatever you like, even marmalade, lemon curd. I wouldn't use chocolate spread. That might just go a bit too far. However, we're going to use uh, raspberry jam today. And what you need to do is make a little dent in the middle. So put your finger in the middle. Sorry, yes, we've got to get our fingers in here. And take in a teaspoon, just plop a teaspoon of your preferred conserve on the top there. And do that, keep going round them and do that with each one. There we go. And when they're all done, they're going to go in an oven, gas mark six, six, 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 15 minutes. Okay, once your timer has gone off, Alexa, stop. Let's have a look and see what's going on. Ooh, they look good. Let's see now, if you get hold of them. That absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Thank you for joining me today. If you do like what I'm doing, please like, share, subscribe, um, and I will be seeing you in my next video. Till then, Liz out.